Well, good afternoon in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Today is the 22nd of May. And uh, yeah, a little cloudy today. It's become quite windy here this afternoon. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But un unrelated to the weather, this dog this dog the skills I just can't fully comprehend has done this thing. So we have two. Can you see that? We have a double. We have, if I can zoom in, the Edgar B. Spear and the John G. Munson there behind them. There should be enough room for the Munson to tie up back there. It may not look like it from this angle, but there should be. So they are just waiting for the lock. I believe the spear is next because that way uh, uh, there's a tree in the way. Can't even see. Kind of. You can just make out the K.E. Barker there just to the right of the building there. So the Paul Archer Gertha was in the lock. I'm pretty sure that could be Spear gets the lock next. Then the K.E. Barker and then the John G. Munson. Some moody looking clouds, huh? So the Paul Archer Gertha, of course we can't see, they're already gone. The Edgar B. Spear, they left um, Superior Duluth area yesterday and uh, heading right into some pretty nasty weather. But they, uh, they made it. I was wondering if they were going to go to anchor there on the other side of the peninsula, but they didn't. They just, I think they managed to stay ahead of the worst of the waves. I mean, it's easy to say. I'm not the one <laughs> riding in the waves, but but they uh, yeah kind of just teamed up and went across the lake together and made it. So that's the most important thing. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look if I've seen the spear yet this season. I want to say I have. Actually, no, I know I did, but they were heading downbound away. That's right, in the lock. And the Munson, the Munson is one of my favorites. They're a solid second place for best horn on the Great Lakes. James R. Barker is first. You know, they're a pretty distinctive horn or whistle. I have a hard time calling it a whistle. It doesn't sound like any whistle I've ever heard. But James R. Barker, you know, they have that distinctive sound. But the, uh, the John G. Munson, they really got a lot of proper speaking there. They have a lot of bass. It really, you can like feel it in your chest when they uh, give you a salute. So I can always hear them when they leave the lock because the ships give just one short blast when they get underway. And I always know, like, oh, it's the Munson. I always tell. Let's see if we can... Do we have a decent angle here? There's a, a spot. Oh, Argo, it's pulling on me. Where you get into these bushes. I'm trying to figure out what is... Let's 
Something's yelling at us. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you can see. Oh. Blackbird there, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to figure out what is yelling at us. That's what's yelling at us. Grumpy little guy. Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah. You get too close to these bushes and the structures down there, you actually get a worse view. So. Yeah, they're gonna go tie up. So I think I'm gonna boogie on down that way. I'm sure Edgar B. Spear will be getting underway here shortly. But I'd like to go see the Munson. So, this good boy, such a good boy, aren't you? He's sitting so pretty. You're the best boy. Are you proud? He is. All right, we're gonna head that way. So we'll be back, you know, just, just like that. Here is the John G. Munson. If they're not tied up yet, they're really close to it. The Edgar B. Spear, they started uh, making their trip into the lock as we were walking by. So you can see them down there. There's that freighter fanny there. <laughs> Good to see them here safe. And the Munson, I can see they're still moving. So they haven't tied up just yet. I zoom in here. You can see that they're definitely still moving. Not very much, though. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was good timing. Caught them, the, the line handler there, the deckhand. Hook up to that button. Or bollard? Is that what they're called? A bollard? I don't know if I ever noticed. Can you see the, not stopped, oh, no, there it is. It's a red light. That's green. Hmm. I don't know what that goes with. <laughs> so as you can see, the Munson is a, uh, a front mount unloading boom. which lets them, I guess, unload in different places than the standard rear mount would. So like the, the new uh, Mark W. Barker ship is a front unload, like the Munson here. Let's see if I can whoop, get this between the the fence, there we go. I wish they'd give us a horn blast, but I know they can't. <laughs> but it'd be really cool if they did. So, there we are. It's John G. Munson. 
officially tied up here. I'm sure the K Barker will be next, upbound. And the John G. Munson will be able to go down and be on their way. You okay there, dog, after I tripped over you? Seems fine. It's been a good day for uh, people in the tour boats. We've had uh, a lot of freighters through today. Of course, I work from home, so a lot of the time I just have to hear them on the radio or see them on the Streamtime live camera. Sometimes both. That's cool. I think Argo's sniffing for a spot. There's a lot of dogs that get walked through here. I'm sure from residents of the West Pier Apartments here. But then there's other people like me who come wandering through. You can see they have, I guess, supplies and provisions for people and their dogs. I want to get back here because I want to get a picture from behind here and maybe with the tour boat going by. So. Is that the Hiawatha? I think so. It's good hearing all the tour boats on the radio again, doing their three tours a day per boat. So, it's always kind of fun when all the, like everything gets, gets going again, you know, for the year. All right. This is about <laughs> as far as I can get. Can we get her? Oh, we can. Just barely. Does she fit? And here comes the Hiawatha. Hiawatha's been, uh, they look empty. So they've been running crew back and forth for the lot construction for a while now. that that boat booty <laughs> all right well Argo you ready he's been pulling on me so I think he's ready to finish up the walk he did his job found the ships now he's like let's go <laughs> he's got more squirrels to inventory so have a great day Argo and I'll be back Ooh. I don't know if you saw that big old bumblebee. It's funny, those like big fuzzy ones are the ones that seem scary, but they're never really a problem. So, anyway, I'll give you this parting shot. I wish you a fantastic day. And we're going to be back very, very soon.